I've had a few requests to uh, take a tour or show some pictures of the shop that I work in. Um, a lot of the work takes place out in the backyard right here on this little sheet of plywood. And my workshop's relatively small. I've been cleaning it today. That's the bag of trash that I pulled out, and I've probably got about three more bags like it to go. But here's the shop. It's still kind of messy. I've cleaned parts of it. Um, you come in down here, and again, it's a small shop, so I just have the things piled up and take them out and use them on that plywood as I need them. I've got a table saw. I've got a 1 by 30 um, belt sander, a band saw here, and then I've got another little belt sander up here. Um, the flat wheel portion of it's kind of handy to use. Uh, here, paper towel holder, which is a two horsepower motor that I got to turn into something, but picked it up at a yard sale relatively cheap. This is the, it's a small motor, it's an old motor, it's probably 60 years old, but it's what I use for my slot cutter for my finger guards. A uh, bench grinder back here with a brass wheel brush and then a stone. Some rags. Uh, in this box is the uh, electromechanical etcher or personalizer is the actual brand name of it. Um, extra vice, drill bits, pencils, measurement stuff, uh, a little caddy of some pins or pin material. Um, cheap drill press uh, grinder it is a Wilton square wheel grinder there's a knife that I'm working on uh, light that I can move around and underneath here is my heat treat oven it's an even heat I believe it's got the Orton uh, auto fire express controller on it and just a bunch of tools that you can see around the shop and then uh, clamps clamps more clamps and then down here I've got uh, some steel and knives in various stages of uh, completion just kind of lost interest and we'll eventually pick them back up We'll eventually pick them back up, but just some steel and some parts down there. Large chunk of brass, uh, some fiberglass resin, and the uh, pot is the uh, canola oil that I use for quenching. Down there is my anti-scale compound. This toolbox with the clamps on it is my leather working kit. And then I have uh, my belts. 2 by 72 belts, and then up above that, 1 by 30 belts. And just a bunch of stuff. Um, handle material, here's some crash carta that I've made up. Um, some knives that have been heat treated. So I just need to start grinding on them, but those are all been heat treated. There's another pile underneath the oven that have not been heat treated yet but they're profiled. What's left of the uh, first sawmill blade, I had two, I still got another one I haven't cut on. And down here I've got uh, scroll saw, I don't use that too much anymore now that I've got the band saw. An old mechanical typewriter, I use that to make up my stencils. Oxyacetylene torch used for silver soldering and some steel and acrylic and some other stuff laying around. Um, going back to this side of the shop, just things that I've picked up. You know, there's some driftwood I use for displaying them when I'm taking pictures, some liner material underneath there. Got an anvil down there and a Another made out of a piece of railroad track and another one next to it that isn't cut up. Uh, some steel and then just a bunch of stuff. Here's another grinder. This is uh, uh, one of the grinder in a box uh, things. The arms are back in that corner. 
I'm not going to pull them out, but it's a good grinder. Um, I like the Wilton a little bit better. And then more tools down here. Die grinder, which comes in handy. Uh, and there's my angle grinder and a bunch of other stuff. But that's a tour of my workshop. For better or for worse, it is what it is. Um, hope that answers the questions for those that had questions. And thanks for watching.